Hi Church, as we've been in lockdown, more and more I found myself turning to Psalms in the Bible. I love worshipping God and I believe it is a really key part of our relationship with him. And the Psalms have been really sticking out to me recently because unlike lots of other books in the Bible, it seems to cover every single range of emotion. And it shows how important it is to worship through every season, in every situation, be it good or be it bad. And in some of David's Psalms in particular, he literally cries out in anguish to God. He was often in what seemed like impossible situations, but he was surrounded on all sides by enemies. He had made terrible situations himself, but still he made sure to worship God through the storms. And yet still other Psalms, they sing of the beauty we see in God's creation and of his great love for us. And even more Psalms sing of the promises he's made and the promises he's fulfilled to us. And what better example could we have now in such a time of anguish, in unprecedented and uncertain times, than the Psalms? What else do we turn to when we're not sure how to worship God through the storm, but the perfect example of that? But most of all, my favourite thing about Psalms is when, as we worship, we are reminded of and shown God's promises to us. Even today, worship songs are written in the same way. Lyrics like, we've seen you move, you move the mountains, and we believe you'll do it again. And for me, nothing shows all the parts of what I've been speaking about better than Psalm 85. It starts with thanking God for the favour he has shown in the past, but asking him to restore us again. It says, will you not revive us again? And goes on to say, I will listen to, the what, I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people, his faithful servants, but let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. It reminds us of the promises God has made us as his people, of his promise in salvation through Jesus, and what a reassurance that is. Now, this is an unprecedented time for the church, not just in how we meet has changed, but in the way that people are turning to God as well. Each week, our Sunday services are getting over 500 views on YouTube, the short thoughts over 300. God is reaching people in ways we never would have thought possible just a few months ago. And seeing that increase of people reaching out in the last few weeks has seen me reading and praying Psalm 85 over our area more and more. Praying that those people tune in to, to these services, that they know God's salvation, that they know his presence near to them, and that we will see his glory dwell in our land in a way never seen before. Now, I believe God is capable of doing great things, and I want to see our land filled with his glory, and I want to see his revival. The last few verses of the psalm just beautifully show what that looks like as well. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good, and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Now, and over the next few days, I just want you guys to join me and read that psalm and pray it out over where you live, over your friends, over the street you're on, the village you're in, the town you're in. You know, we want to pray that out and we want to see God move and we want to see revival, especially in uncertain times where people need God in ways they never realised before. And as that happens, we just pray and ask that we see God's glory fill in our land in a way we've never seen before. So over the next few days, I'd love if you would just join me and pray that and read that prayer out over your area.